which LLM should you use for your coding and marketing efforts and is the hype around DeepSeek 2.5 really justified? Hello guys, today I want to share with you uh, a few LLM leaderboards. Some of you, you probably already stumbled upon them, encounter them and use them, but some of them are you probably don't, didn't even know about. I've I'm using them often when I'm trying to decide whether or not I should use my go-to model, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, or maybe I should mix it up with other LLM LLMs. Sometimes it can save you time and it can save you cost because there are just other solutions which are more affordable and cheaper. And the biggest thing that I've noticed lately is when I'm trying to build stuff using Claude Dev and Claude Sonnet 3.5, I encounter rate limits. And whenever I encounter rate limits, I need to switch to different models. So I mix around, I play, I use the chats, I use OpenAI, and recently I've stumbled upon DeepSeek. And I saw many good reviews about it in Reddit and in Discord groups, and I wanted to check it out. Before um, I show you the performance of DeepSeek, let me just show you a few available leaderboards that I'm using. And these are leaderboards that I'm using except for the Hugging Face leaderboard. You also have LLM Arena, which are the most famous ones, but these are also very useful. And let's go over them one by one. So first of all is Open Router. Open Router is a platform that allows you to connect to different LLMs. And basically they have LLM rankings and you can compare them based on different use cases. So let's say we want to see the amount of tokens used in the last week for science related projects. So you can see here how many tokens were used. And let's say you want to see for programming related stuff. So you can come here and you have a table I mean, this bar charts and also a table that shows you how many tokens were used for this specific use case. This is basically collecting the wisdom of the crowd or collective wisdom. And this gives you a good understanding of what is trending and what are people using. It seems like there is a rise uh, of use of Gemini 1.5. It uh, might be related to the fact that it's also uh, cheaper or I don't know why, maybe the hype. So you should take this into consideration. The fact that something is trending uh, doesn't mean it's necessarily better for a use case, but it does give you a good hint. So this is the first platform, Open Router. I use it mainly to see if anything is trending uh, that I wasn't aware of. The next platform, which I really love, is the IDER leaderboard. IDER is a very popular AI assistant, AI coding assistant, and they broke down different performance um, in, of, of coding into different type of uh, use cases of tasks. So for example, there is the code editing task, and there is the code refactoring leaderboard. Which is the, which are basically the most important things and it was interesting to see that I expected to see Claude Sonnet leading in both of them, but it didn't. So the Claude and uh, the either code editing leaderboard, you, you can see Claude 3.5 Sonnet is leading by far the percent completed. And I'm, I'm not going to go into what exactly did they measure and how they measure this. You can read this in their blogs and documentation, but you can see that Claude 3.5 Sonnet outperformed all the competitors. Second place was DeepSeek Coder V2, which was deprecated because they switched to 2.5. Then GPT 4.0, and now DeepSeek uh, 2.5 is in the fourth place. Now, for the refactoring, and I found this pretty interesting, we have Claude Opus, which is leading over Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and it's a pretty significant gap. And I think I read an explanation regarding why this worked so well, but I don't really recall why was that, but 
it's interesting. It was a surprising to me to see this, and it might give you an interesting hint regarding if you build out a project with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is more expensive, and then when you move to the refactoring stage, or let's say you're using Claude Dev for the building portion, this is Claude Dev, and you're using Continue for the refactoring portion, so you can switch to um, Cloud Opus for the refactoring and for the building, you can use Cloud Dev over here. I'm not going to go into details because this is not the goal of the video, but basically use Cloud Dev right here. Cloud uh, 3.5 Sonnet, sorry. So this was interesting. Now moving forward to this leaderboard, which only measures function calling abilities and over here you can sort by cost, average latency, relevance and summarize stats. Over here you can see that GPT-4 is leading and we also have Mistral and Claude Opus is only in the one, two, three, four, five, seventh place when I use the summarized ranking, which is interesting. Cloud Sonnet is even way behind. So yeah, this is mostly for function calling. If you're using a lot of tools and function calling, you should take a look about, uh, at this leaderboard. Next, we have Live Bench, which is a very interesting platform. What they do basically, um, Live Bench is, this, I just read it because it's going to be easier. LiveBench is designed to limit potential contamination by releasing new questions, questions monthly. So they keep on updating the questions and the task in order to measure because if they take, if someone is taking the recent test from let's say a month ago and they help it, they train the model based on this, it can make the data dirty or contaminated. So this is why they just keep on and there are many more aspects to why they are using this. But basically, the main idea is that they release new questions monthly and they keep on um, questioning or testing the models based on new data. So, and each question has a verifiable objective ground truth answers, allowing hard questions to be scored accurately and automatically without the use of LLM, LLM judgments, which is also a big... Um, advantage of using this model, I mean, this type of benchmarking. And over here, you can also sort by the global average, the reasoning average, coding average, mathematics average, data analysis average, language average, etc. And I think this is the most complete leaderboard. Let's sort by global average. So we can see Claude 3.5 Sonnet is leading, then GPT-40, then just GPT for all latest, then the Meta Lama. Now let's say for coding average, we can see over here, Claude 3.5 is leading by far. Let's say for data analysis, again, Claude 3.5 is a clear leader. And this aligns with what I'm seeing whenever I'm testing out stuff, although it's just, a, I don't have a big sample size, it's only myself. But I still believe that Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is the most sophisticated and advanced LLM model available at the moment. Note that in, uh, that in this leaderboard, they haven't updated or gave a score to DeepSeq 2.5. So we'll stay tuned in order to see if um, DeepSeq 2.5, where it's going to rank in this table. Yeah, so, uh, and this is the data published by the DeepSeq team. Basically, they also do did a comparison. You can check it out in this in their homepage, a comparison between themselves and other models. This is obviously pretty biased. The good thing about DeepSeq is it's way cheaper than the alternatives and its coding abilities are supposed to be pretty decent. I've tried testing it, not for uh, too long, my first impression is that the code is pretty good. Um, I didn't encounter many uh, issues or hiccups. I I've, haven't used it enough yet in order to 
say if it's better than Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. I assume it isn't. And the one thing that I noticed about DeepSeek 2.5 is pretty slow, so you need to have a lot of patience <laughs> when you're using it. So this is a huge downside, which kind of made me decide that I'm going to wait to see if other people are talking about this and what is going to be their score because I don't want to waste time on just waiting for the LLM to produce a code or, or content. So yeah, uh, I, if you're interested, if, you're, if you want to mitigate your costs and you're interested in high quality code, I think DeepSeek might be a good solution for you. Make sure to check it out. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today, guys. A short video about different leaderboards that uh, allow you to kind of compare between the alternatives and decide if you want to go with uh, OpenAI or Claude or an alternative. I also shared my initial impressions of DeepSeek. I hope you find it useful. If you enjoyed this video, obviously, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.